Hello everyone. Practicing yoga in the evening requires a slightly different approach to practicing yoga in the morning after getting up. In the evening we put a bit more emphasis on restful postures. And once again yoga is a great tool to ground yourself in your body again after often a full day's program with a lot of mental activity and distractions. I have the honor to offer you here a short 15 minutes session that I hope will help you to relax, to unwind and to prepare for a restful and beneficial night's sleep. Are you with me? Let's go then. So for this uh, evening practice I invite you to go to your mat and to go and bring yourself to all fours. Place your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Bring your awareness inside of your body and check in with yourself. Feel how your body is physically Feel how your energy level is and then focus on your breath and render your breathing slow, deep and as regularly as possible. Make it become like a long flow and find yourself a slow and peaceful cruising speed. And then on one of your next inhales I invite you to push your belly button down to the floor and direct your gaze up front and on the exhale round your back and pull your belly button inwards and upwards and then again on the inhale lower the belly button make a hollow lower back and gaze up in front of you exhale round your back and keep on moving your spine up and down in this undulating movement. Let every vertebra of your spine move. Feel your back, feel your body and move your spine and your body this way for two up to three more breaths. Then on one of your next inhales I invite you to hook your toes behind you in the mat and on the exhale lift your pelvis upwards and to the back and bring yourself in downward facing dog posture. Breathe. Check if you need maybe to bend your knees slightly. So give priority to a long and straight back. Open the palms of your hands, spread your fingers and above all breathe. Hold the posture for five long and deep breaths. And then after these breaths, make a couple of steps forward, one or two, cross your feet and bend your legs to come and sit down on your mat. Then I invite you to bring both legs out in front of you and check if this is okay 
for your back. If ever your back is a little bit tense or tired, then preferably bend your knees and maybe you can slide a support like a, a cushion under your bent knees. This will make the next posture a lot more accessible. When you're ready, on an inhale, lift your arms, lengthen your spine, and on the exhale, bend forward over both legs. Let your hands come down. For some of us, the hands will be on the legs. For others, will be on the ankles. And for others, the hands will rest on the feet. Keep your lower back pretty straight. Bend from your hip joint and breathe. Relax in the posture. Even if your legs are active, even if you pull your toes a little bit towards you, to feel this deep stretch at the back of your legs, also in your calf muscles. It's not a, a matter of um, forcing yourself down, but rather letting go and relaxing with every new exhale. Preferably keep your head just balanced at the end of your spine. Don't tilt your head forward, but keep it just in the prolongation of your spine. And breathe. Stay five or seven or even a couple of more breaths in this forward bend posture. And then when your moment has come, on one of your inhales, slowly come out of the posture, straighten your back again. And then on an inhale, lift both arms, straighten and lengthen your back. And on the exhale, turn your upper body now to the left side. Bring the left hand behind your back and hook your right hand the outside of your left leg. Hold this twist for five up to seven slow and deep breaths. Again, don't force, don't push, don't pull. Simply let yourself go with every exhale A little bit deeper into that twist and feel how your body undulates a little bit back and forth at the rhythm of your breath. After five tranquil breaths on an inhale I invite you to lift your arms and turn your upper body up front Lengthen your spine, stretch your body, and on the exhale, lower your arms. Bring one arm behind your back again and hook the left arm to the outside of your right leg. Lower your shoulders. Keep on breathing and feel your body. Keep your legs a little bit activated, pulling your toes towards you and pushing the backside of your leg into the floor. Hold this posture for five up to seven breaths. And then once again, when your moment has come on an inhale, lift your arms, turn back to the front and on the exhale, 
simply lower your arms back to the floor. Next, I invite you to change position and bring yourself over to all fours. Place your hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips and put your knees almost at the width of your mat. We're going to inhale a slightly hollow back and on the exhale move your pelvis backwards towards your heel. Slide the hands forward and let your forehead land on the mat and put your elbows down too. You're now in child posture and I invite you to breathe. Keep on breathing slowly, deeply and very fluently. Inhale, inhale not only into your ribcage, but also deep into your belly and give your belly a lot of space between your thighs. Feel the gentle stretch of your lower back and hold this posture for five or seven or even more breaths. And then on one of your next inhales, I invite you to slowly move back to all fours. Slide your knees again under the hips, the hands under the shoulders, and then hook your toes into the mat. Inhale, hollow lower back, exhale, and bring yourself to downward facing dog. You can, if you want, stay here for a couple of breaths. Maybe bend your knees again to have it a little bit easier for the back. And then finally come again to sitting position. So one or two steps forward, cross the feet, bend the legs and come and sit on your mat. And now I invite you to come and spread out your legs. Check if this is okay for your back. If necessary, keep your knees a little bit bent and you can slide a towel that you roll or a small cushion under your knees, backside of the knees. Then bring your hands behind your back with the fingers pointing backwards. Pull your toes towards you and on a deep inhale, lengthen your spine as if you make yourself grow from your hips outward. And then with your exhale, see if you can bend a little bit to the front. So slowly in your hip joint, so not in your back, but in the hip joint, bend forward. Make contact with your legs. Bring your hands on the legs. And then again, slowly, patiently surrender to this posture. Don't push, don't pull, simply relax, let go. Even if you activate your legs, Feel your body and feel the intense stretch at the back of your legs, on the inside of the thighs. And just accept the posture with all its nice, but also all its uncomfortable sides. You can stay in this posture Again, for five up to seven, 
slow and deep breaths. You can maybe even lay your hands just out in front of you. And then when it feels okay for you on an inhale, slowly bring your spine up again and join the legs. I invite you to come back to all fours on your mat. Position your knees on your hips, the hands under the shoulders. And then very gently, three or maybe five times on an inhale, make a hollow lower back and exhale, round your back. Once more, inhale, hollow lower back and exhale, round the back. Last one, inhale. And then hook your toes again in the mat behind you. Exhale and lift your pelvis upwards and backwards until you are again in downward facing dog. Hold the posture for a couple of breaths. Intensify the posture with every exhale. Press down your heels to the mat, keep the palms of the hands open and the fingers spread. And above all, keep breathing deeply, regularly and slowly. And then on an inhale, I invite you to come down to all fours and open your knees almost the width of the mat. Put your feet down and on an exhale, bring the pelvis down to the heels. Slide your hands to the front, but this time, keep your elbows off the floor. And then on one of your next inhales, slide your right hand towards the knee. On the exhale, slide that right hand under your left armpit and let the arm follow and turn your shoulders to put your right shoulder on the mat and also the right side of your head. And if your shoulder and head don't touch the floor, then you just put something underneath, a cushion or a folded towel. Stay for five slow and deep breaths in the posture. Breathe deeply and slowly. And try to relax that arm that's underneath you as much as you can. And again, after five or maybe even more breaths, gently on an inhale, pull back that arm. On the exhale, bring it out in front of you. Place your forehead on the mat. Inhale, bring the left hand to the left knee. And on the exhale, slide that left hand now underneath your right armpit. Let the arm follow and twist your shoulders and put your left shoulder and the left side of your head on the mat. Again, relax your right arm, the arm that's resting on the floor and breathe slowly and deeply. Feel the gentle stretch of your shoulder with every new inhale. And then again after five breaths or even more, it's up to you. On an inhale, pull the arm back in, exhale, slide the arm out in front of you, put your forehead down and 
If you want, you can even rest your elbows now too and stay for a couple of more breaths in normal child posture. Let your head rest, relax the neck and the shoulders. And then again on one of your next inhale, slowly move to all fours. Bring the knees under the hips, the hands under the shoulders. I invite you to hook your toes in the mat. Inhale, hollow lower back. And exhale, lift the pelvis upwards and backwards. Bring yourself again in downward facing dog. For a couple of last breaths, lengthen the spine. Stretch your shoulders. And then finally, find your way back to the floor. Step forward, bend your legs and come to sitting position. And then if you like, you can stay seated on your mat with your legs crossed in tailor posture, either sitting on the mat or on a cushion. When you use a cushion, your hips get elevated and it's easier to sit with this back that is straight without any effort. Place your arms and your hands and then if you wish you can stay for a couple of minutes with eyes closed just contemplating your day or meditating for a couple of moments before going to bed and enjoying a night of sleep, of deep and peaceful sleep. Dear people, thank you for watching this video. I invite you to leave your comments below leave a like, subscribe to this channel and I'll be back soon with more. Namaste.